What's going on, guys? Merrick here, back with the semi-final episode of our Pokemon League Green Shadow Lock, our Yu-Gi-Oh! theme Nuzlocke on the channel. Last episode, we went ahead and we took on Lorelei and Bruno. Our team is still... Well, still perfectly fine. I guess we already healed up our team. Uh, we're gonna do a quick recap. We got Urza, the level 60 Calm Nature, Latias holding the Soul Dew with Psychic, Dragon Breath, Surf, and Recover. We've got Blaine, our level 60 Quirky Natured Magmar, holding the leftovers with Flamethrower, Fire Punch, Ember, and Low Kick. We've got Yorin Maru, our level 60 Hasty Natured Articuno, holding the Nevermelt Ice with Ice Beam, Fly, Bubble Beam, and Extra Sensory. We've got Lord Helix, our level 60 Careful Natured Omastar, holding the Mystic Water to hold, uh, power up that Surf, Water Gun, Bite, and Fire Punch. We've got our Celebi, level 60 Quiet Natured. Uh, Celebi with Twisted Spoon, uh, the power of that confusion with Bite, Poison Fang, and Recover. And then lastly, we have Ruby Carbuncle, our level 61, Quirky Natured Espeon, holding the Twisted Spoon to power up that Psychic, Sabine, Confusion, and it's got Shockwave. Alright, so... We're gonna go and take on Agatha and Lance and go ahead and... Whoop, wrong button. We're going to finish up this Elite Four Challenge. We're going to lead with Latias once again. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. I hear Oak's taking a lot of interest in you, child. That old duff was once tough and handsome. Not necessary information I needed. But that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for battling. I'll show you how a real trainer battles. Bitch, please. Wow, Lawrence, she's got a different name for once. With a Flareon. Well, that's a shame. And a crit! Wow, Urza, that was not necessary, but... I mean, you are the most powerful member of our team. We got a mad chat. Wow, could I hit the right buttons? That'd be great. Uh... And Ruby can handle this, I guess. I don't think a side gig's worth it. Yeah, I was gonna be really surprised if he lived that. A beldum. This is gonna be a short ass video if this is how these battles are gonna go. I really feel like I could kill it with just anything, but I don't want to use a shotgun. Who hasn't come out to battle yet? We'll let Chorin Maru be our bird of prey. 67. Could have been a Gyarados. Wow, oh, that's kind of upsetting. Not to mention, if it was a Gyarados, we would have went right into Ruby and we would have shockwaved the shit out of that thing. So it looks like Omastar is going to be the only one not to get to battle in this fight, so... Ooh, 
This is where I'm hoping this will be pro strats. Oh, come on. I was hoping we'd get full heal, and then the poison would kill it. Okay, whatever. Oh my, you're something special, child. You win. I see what the old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Get out of my face. Well, fine, bitch. Bye. I mean, we could still just use Recover and use the Natural Cure to get rid of the Paralysis, but... We got all these items, we had all that cash, I may as well use it. Man is Lance. Lance was always my favorite. Do I want to leave Latias out front? Or do we want to go with Articuno? I mean, I feel like if he uses a dragon, if he actually has a dragon, either way, it's a good play. But. We know Latias is going to do more damage than anybody else on our team thanks to that soul dude, so I guess we'll just leave her out there for now. Ah, I've heard about you, Merrick. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know the dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me. The irony there is, I mean, even if, like, any ice type is gonna murder his, his dragon knight. Or we're gonna murder his nine tails. How did that live? I'm legitimately confused. Get a high roll and kill this thing. That is stupidly frustrating. Come on. Come on. At a girl. You can't confuse Urza. She knows who the enemy is. The Scyther. Man, if I had a rock type, that'd be great. Uh, we'll pit him against Blade. They're right next to each other in the Pokedex, too. I was more doing it because they're kind of like the... the few weird uh, Pokemon that don't evolve from e anything. Like Magmar, Scyther, like Buzz, Mr. Mime, Jinx, Lapras, all that crap. Pinsir. Wow. You know, if you could not live, that'd be great. Is this his ace? How under leveled are we gonna be when we get to the rival? Oh god. We might be in a little bit of trouble here. Holy fuck! Okay. Hold up now. 
this is the game we're playing. Ah, shit. Alright, Lance ain't fucking around. And it's not a dragon, but this thing may as well be a fucking dragon. Level 62. Alright. Rain Dance? You're gonna send out one of the biggest badasses in the Pokemon history, and you're gonna use Rain Dance. That didn't even do half. Oh, this thing is so fucking stupid bulky. Withdrew. Into another Ninetales. Did his Dragonite get switched to Ninetales? Alright, well, you set up the rain for Helix, so. Oh my god, Confuse Ray. All the things you can do with the Ninetales, and all the computer does is spam Confuse Ray. That's the most irritating fucking thing. Alright, Helix. Let's see if you can live up to Urza. You a lord. And he does not get confused so easily. Back to Lugia. Alright, we're going back to Hyorin Maru. I mean, this is obviously our best play, but I feel like I really... I really like the, the idea of Articuno versus Lugia. Holy shit, it has Hydro Pump. Come on. And there's the floor store. I knew it was coming. Oh, and that pressure's eating away our ice beams. Fuck. Oh my god! Freaking Hyori Maru went Bankai and just one shot that Lugia. That was beautiful. That shit was a beautiful. Poliwhirl, I think it's still... It doesn't get fighting type till the final form, so we're just gonna go with Ruby to finish him off. That was epic. Level 69, nope, that's his ace. Wow. 69. Oh, he tried to belly drum us. Holy crap. So. <laughs> the rival's ace is gonna be, what, like 70 fucking 5? Oh, man. I feel like this is a huge mistake. <laughs> that's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. Yeah, thanks. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Well, you would have been. We have one more challenge left. There's one more trainer to face, and his name is Yugi Boy. He beat the Elite Four before you. He's the real Pokemon League champion. You know the irony is, is if you do like if you battle him, both like on your way to Victory Road, then you beat his ass. And then he runs off. It's like, did he run off through Rock Tunnel? Was he like, man, I lost. I'm gonna get there before him. And he just sprints ahead of you. I don't know. That's kind of a funny thought. But, alright, let's go ahead and heal our dudes up. We don't even... That's six points. But hey, six points can make a difference. And we got all these items. We got one final battle to go. We gotta make sure everyone's in tip-top shape. Uh, how many ice beams do we have left? Because if we come across another situation like that, we're gonna hit three. Um, do we have one of those berries that restores PP? I'd rather use it now than what... Yes, we do. We have a Leba Berry. We're gonna feed it to Yorin Maru. 
Here you go, boy. That's for taking down that Lugia. And I mean, honestly, like, we could have went with Espeon, but Yorin Maru has 185 special defense. I mean, Ruby has 146, but a rain-boosted Hydro Pump from a Lugia, that would have been insane damage. And honestly, I just feel like Articuno is better suited for it. Plus, he's got the Never Melt Ice to power up his Ice Beam and its stab, so it would have done a lot more than the Shock Beam, Shock Beam, Shock Wave would have. And we just, we don't have a good item to give to him. I mean, that's really the bet, because, like, Scope Lens is useless. Um, yeah. So I guess, uh, I guess that's what we're gonna stick with. Everybody's still level 60 besides Ruby. Oh boy, that rival battle next episode's gonna be rough. But I guess we're gonna wrap this episode up here. If you enjoyed watching us trounce around Agatha and Lance, and more importantly, one shot a fucking Lugia, hit that like button down below for us. You know, we appreciate the support. We appreciate all of our subscribers as well. Always remember to save your game because if you were to lose that data, you probably wouldn't one shot that Lugia again, and that would be a shame. We're going to go ahead and get the freak out of here now, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.